Mm -hmm. Did we catch you at a bad time? Christine Hill with Sunshine Prosthetics, or as I'm more affectionately known by most of my patients, the leg lady. So we are getting set up for a meeting and as you can see, I have my kids today and they just do the meetings with me. We do got a busy and exciting week. We got a couple prosthetic follow-ups and then we also got a few new prosthetic patient evaluations that we'll be taking care of this week. So stay tuned and tomorrow we will hit the road. Got a little bit later start this morning. But we are on the road and headed to an assisted living. We have a long-term prosthetic patient there that we haven't checked in with in a while. So we're just going to stop in and see how he's doing, make sure he's doing well. He actually moved to Alabama to be closer with his family. So that's awesome. And it sounds like he's been doing really well. Marketing, though, was kind of a bust. But sometimes that's just how it goes. Did kind of bring up a point that I wanted to talk about though that it is the patient's choice and the patient's decision ultimately who they want to work with. If the patient has a provider and the provider is doing a good job and the patient is happy, awesome. You know, we just want to make sure that patients are getting good quality care and not falling through the cracks. Was in a facility to actually follow up with one of my own patients and the therapist there asked if we can check in with another patient patient that they were working with in therapy because she had a she has a right transtibial amputation she has had a prosthesis for a couple of years I believe at that point however it was starting to cause some discomfort and it actually caused a wound at the distal end of her limb at the cut end of the bone looking at her skin looking at the socket just the socket was not fitting optimally at that time that I saw her. And that's the tough thing and why follow-up is so important. The residual limb is going to change. It does even day to day, but especially month to month and a year later, the limb changes and it's not going to be the same. There should be a kind of consistent follow-up and that is one thing that we see a lot of times that is lacking. Therapy was not sure who originally provided the prosthesis. She couldn't remember the last time she had seen the previous provider. She was open to working with us so we were able to get her situated and get her taken care of and get that wound healed. You know like I said if they're happy with the provider and getting good prosthetic care awesome but we also see quite often where the patient isn't getting quality care and we're not going to be the right fit for everybody either part of it is the actual making of the device and part of it is the relationship there's a relational aspect to it as well you know and you have to be able to you know hopefully dive and get along well with who's providing your limb soapbox done i'm gonna finish up lunch and then wish me luck for finding some work pants. Well, pant shopping was a bust. Hate shopping for pants. Let me know if you guys have any recommendations when it comes to semi-professional pants that are comfortable yet functional and you can wear with tennis shoes. And ones that have pockets. There have been several times where I have bought women's professional pants and they don't have real actual pockets and I need real actual pockets. <laughs> Okay, so now we are following up with a gentleman. He has a right transtibial prosthesis. And looking at that wound, real happy how it has been healing. That's about half the size it was a couple weeks ago. And that has been with prosthetic use. All right guys, so it is about 1.15, so I have a few minutes to scarf down some lunch before uh, we do this new patient eval. But just wanted to debrief you guys really quick about the two morning appointments. So the first for his transfemoral prosthesis that we just delivered a week and a half ago. I followed up with him today. The main complaint was he hadn't really been able to use the leg every day within the last week and a half since delivery due to some swelling and not being able to get the um, prosthesis on. So we did go ahead and just left him with a thinner liner that he could be using in the meantime or on days that 
there's a little bit more swelling. The only other issue was pretty minor, just some irritation and redness uh, along the top of the liner. And so we did kind of just trim it down a little bit, but if there's ever redness or irritation with the liner, just put a little A and D ointment on that skin area before you roll on the liner, and that can help a lot in reducing some of that friction and irritation. Second patient we saw today, he has a right transtibial and a left partial foot. I mean, mainly he'll put them on in the morning and they'll feel okay. And then later in, at the end of the day, he's saying they're uncomfortable, but I mean, he's been wearing them every day and leaving them on for all day. So just re-educated about volume management and sock fly and went ahead and added socks to take up some of that volume and was able to get a better fit. You know, after we made the adjustments, he stated it was much more comfortable, but you know, he also stated it's always comfortable when you're here and then afterwards it gets uncomfortable. Um, so that's where we just really re-educated about volume management and the sock fly side of things. Like I said, just got a couple minutes before our next, um, this is a new patient eval. I don't really know anything about the patient yet. I just know um, they have a new trans tip, so below the knee amputation surgery about two weeks ago. She is actually healed up really well and staples are actually already taken out. So we are gonna go ahead and cast her today. All right guys, so here's her completed cast and you can kind of see, so this is where her kneecap is and this is the back of her leg. So you can kind of see the start of that triangle type shape that we're going for. So we'll go ahead and get this scanned and sent off and see her in about a week, week and a half for her check socket fitting. I totally forgot to introduce you to my new companions today. My son wanted to make sure that bunny and sheep made it into the truck so they can go to work with me today so those have been my companions on the road today that kid drives me absolutely nuts but sometimes he can actually be really sweet Good morning. You want to go get some breakfast? 